today I'm just gonna be vlogging my weekend. It is a sunny day in London today and I thought, you know what, I think it's a really good weekend to take you guys around and vlog and show you guys my weekends in London and do like a little like London diary series maybe even. So today we have Tina's birthday, so my flatmate and one of my best friends. It's her birthday today, so we're gonna, gonna be going to, I can't, I can't say too loud because she doesn't know what we're doing, but um, we're gonna go on a picnic and then do like some acrylic painting on tiny canvases, so that should be really cute. And then we're gonna go out to Greek because she loves Greek food. And then we're also gonna go clubbing. But we originally had something else as well, an activity plan, but that got postponed because two of our friends got COVID, so we're gonna wait until they can join us so yeah it's gonna be a good day today and very excited to just take you guys around with me and show you guys my day and my weekends my skin has been going for a really weird patch recently it's been really 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 acne prone and i feel like i'm going through a hormonal imbalance or something which comes at a really bad time sorry comes at a really bad time because my graduation is next week if you guys are wondering what I'm watching, by the way, I'm watching this Portuguese YouTuber called Diogo Batagwish and I don't really watch any Portuguese media anymore Let me, let me pause this I don't really watch any Portuguese media anymore because I just, I really don't and when, even when I was young, I consumed mostly like American media I actually watched Portuguese cartoons, well they weren't Portuguese but they were all in Portuguese, like dubbed in Portuguese but I don't watch a lot of Portuguese YouTubers or I don't even watch the news I don't watch, I mean like Portuguese news I don't watch Portuguese movies I don't listen to Portuguese songs anymore When I was young I did a little bit more just because obviously I was in Portugal But now, since moving to the UK, I don't do any of it anymore So I think that's why I like to watch his channel because he goes through He does like a monthly review of everything that's happened in Portugal kind of like political and funny and just anything else even like pop culture references so in order to still keep I guess my understanding of what's happening in the country alive I like to watch him like on a monthly basis just check his, his monthly reviews he's actually quite funny it's also something that I do so that I can continue listening to Portuguese otherwise I feel like I will forget and I have been for situations where I forget a bit of the language which really worries me because obviously Portuguese is my first language actually it's not obvious if you don't know me and if this is your first time on this channel then that wouldn't be obvious but for those who don't know I was born and raised in Portugal so my first language was Portuguese but because I don't speak Portuguese anymore with anyone apart from my sisters and even then like my sister came over last night and we were just speak I was just like noticing that we literally almost exclusively speak in English which is very sad like I, I I try to as much as possible speak in Portuguese with my sisters because if I don't speak with them in Portuguese and I don't speak to anyone in Portuguese but because we're all in England now or at least me and my middle sister are in England now it's just so much easier to speak in English that's why I watched Diogo Batagwish because I feel like it makes it easier for me to remember certain words or remember certain phrases because it's actually so, I didn't realize, but you do start forgetting like the other day I couldn't remember how to say armpit in Portuguese until I had to google it and I found out what it was, it was svak or axilla but I literally, I had, I had literally forgotten stay in touch with your roots guys, it's important I try to speak Chinese as well to my parents so that my Mandarin doesn't go away I try to speak dialect with some of my aunties and uncles so that my dialect Chinese doesn't go away so yeah, important I think my friend has arrived. Let me try it because I can hear her. Carmen! Hello! Hello. Hello. Finished the makeup look. Let's try to pause that. I am loving this, like, you know, blushed, cute, pink makeup look. I feel like I look very pale on camera. Is it just me? Don't know. Anyways. I think I'm gonna wear a dress that I bought a while ago, like a summer dress which is perfect for picnics but I haven't been able to wear I was supposed to wear it in Asia Hey! Oh, hi! Hi vloggy, this is Carnes What are you wearing? I'm wearing a white version of my purple dress Okay, I'm gonna wear the cider dress I didn't get to wear, I think Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wear that, yeah, yeah. yeah. What time are we leaving? Are we leaving soon? We have to wait for 
the wings, which is at 140, yeah. and then I did one little sushi platter. Oh. Okay, now we need to get dressed and then let's go to the picnic and sing happy birthday to Tina. This is the dress that I want to wear. It, I usually, oh my god, this is such a bad angle. This is definitely not better, but at least you can see my face. I usually prefer like, um, I usually prefer tight fitted dresses because I feel like it's more flattering on the body. But this one, even though it's very bouncy and flouncy, it is adorable, adorable. So let's put it on. This is a dress on, it's a little poofy number, um, but I love it. And then for shoes, I am gonna be wearing these beautiful bad boys oh i just got them recently from vivaya and i am honestly so obsessed i'm actually so excited that vivaya is sponsoring this video because i do love these shoes so much and i love their products so much so i got this pair here and i also got this pair here which i haven't worn yet these ones i've worn but i've disinfected the bottom of this before wearing them because you know we're not trying to bring drums into the house i actually wear these shoes to work as well because they're very comfortable and at the same time give me a little bit of height which is important because i'm a short gal and then these ones i will be wearing into the office as well i feel like they would look so beautiful with like a jean or um cigarette pants or anything like classic and straight line this would look beautiful with that literally all their shoes are made from sustainable materials and recyclable materials and they also use 3d technology to make them which is why they are so good they're also padded in the inside so i have to wear heels and i've gone through a fair pair of really uncomfortable heels but these ones are fully padded they have padding in the back as well because the ankle or not the ankle the heel is where i always always bleed when i wear shoes like this and these shoes because it's got padding in here they are very very comfortable i haven't worn them out but i have worn the sling back and they are extremely comfortable every single part of the packaging is made with recycled cardboard as well it also says here thank you for helping our ocean and recycling more than six plastic bottles of water so a pair of shoes equates to six plastic bottles of water so essentially the shoes that you're wearing on your feet were plastic bottles in their previous lifetime i feel like with fast fashion these days like i definitely try to buy more sustainable options when i can it's definitely a privilege the fact that i do have different options to buy things that are not as bad for the environment and vivaya is really a good option they're not expensive a pretty reasonable price point for something that is so ethically sourced ethically made sustainable and amazing quality so yeah highly recommend these with that being said, I will leave their link in the description down below and feel free to click the link below to buy them and also follow Vivaya on their Instagram account. Thank you very much Vivaya for sponsoring this video and yeah, I am very 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 excited to wear the shoes and tell all my friends about it because everyone should probably try to buy more sustainable pieces of clothing when they can. On our way, we bought some sunflowers. I think Tina, if I had to pick a flower for her, it would be a sunflower. She's very like bright, happy, joyful, and she's a summer child, so yes. And carrying all the food to the park. Carrying the present. Go, Heather. Go. You could do this. You could do this. Art supplies, we got these mini canvases which are so cute, which we'll paint on. And then we even got fried chicken, which Melly got us. Unfortunately, she can't be here because she's got COVID, but she's here in spirit in a form of fried chicken. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Happy birthday. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're waiting for you. We're shooing the flies away. <laughs> is my inspo picture it's a very ambitious inspo picture but let's see if we can do it here's 
What are you going for, Heather? I'm going for a sunflower. So pretty. Very summery. Yep. Uh, sunset. Sunset. Yeah, do you like the sky when it goes for like waterfall? Oh, beautiful. Ooh, not this, not this. No, no, no. <laughs> Very basic. Something like that. Going home now, we're getting ready to go out. Woo. I also have my roller in my hair. Uh, we have about 30 minutes and now we're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go to Meraki. Meraki. Christina likes Greek food. Oh, Everyone, like drop your outfits. I don't need that at night. Woo! Looking snazzy. I don't need that at night. This is my outfit. It wasn't like cold where I'm at. Oh my gosh, it was like. Happy birthday! Oh, we're almost there. We're actually doing pretty well. We just went, it went around twice. Yeah, and that's done. Wow. Okay, we're doing pretty good, guys. Yeah, um, Heather got a new one. Just when Carmen was like finally done with it, we uh, psyched her with another bottle. Good morning, good morning vlog. It is Sunday morning and I'm gonna go pick up my sister because she's moving into my place for a bit. Because the place is, you know, full of rats. And they currently are having a rat infestation. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. And I'm very tired from last night. <laughs> Helping my sister move out. I've heard rat infested apartments. My sister is here now. We are making lunch. No, actually it's dinner time. Hi has. And it's so hot. It's a hot day and I have zero energy. My body feels very achy. But yeah, I'm gonna have ramen. And then I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. Thanks for watching my weekend. Bye. <laughs>